Hey, I'm Brett Dannon and I'm here at Essential Living Foods. Well, I, I, as a songwriter, I think my goal is to write a song that connects with, with people, I, I think, on an emotional level. So I try to, like, you know, the story could be about anything, but as long as there's, like, some core emotion at the bottom of this. So I find my inspiration from, you know, other things that sort of reflect those core emotions. Um, the Mosaic Project is a, San, is a San Francisco Bay Area based nonprofit organization that, work, that works with kids of all sorts of different backgrounds. And we um, do community building across differences and we allow a space and an opportunity for kids from different backgrounds to get, you know, get to know each other and, and you know, build a community, uh, a peaceful community and learn more about who they are themselves and who each other are. And, um, try to have a bigger understanding for the rest of the world. I think it's great. I get a lot of criticism, but I think it's important for people, it's important to see people standing up for what they believe in, you know? I really don't care, like, about all the flaws or whatever. I just like seeing people be vocal about the change they want to see. It's, it's different for everybody, and, you know, I, like I said before, I was always kind of an omnivore, however, I uh, was living on the road a lot and just being tired, you know, eating road food late night, and, and, you know, making, just getting fried food, whatever, meat, whatever, and not that any of those are, are wrong or bad or whatever, I just realized that, you know, if I want to make a life, as a touring musician, you know, I want to make it last a long time. It all starts with nutrition, so I started getting myself involved in different cleanses. And then I tried out just eating raw for a while, and I never felt so good in my life. And now I sort of try to like live by those principles, like, you know, I'm not a raw food freak, but I am a raw food like enthusiast. I like try to make most of the food I eat be raw and you know I cook some things sometimes because I crave like warmth or like there's some things that I think just are better taste better cooked but for the most part I make it a point to consume a high volume of raw foods you know because I know that if I'm doing that I'm actively filling myself with enzymes and vitamins that I wouldn't necessarily get in from, from other food. Well, there's nothing quite like um, a fresh goji berry, and I think a lot of people who've had goji berries are, um, they've been misled to how good a goji berry can be when, when it's fresh. But that, I wouldn't say that's my favorite superfood. I think it's, my favorite superfood is a tie between cacao and chia. I mean, chia just gives me instant energy that lasts a long time. But uh, cacao, I just, cacao makes me feel powerful. Loverboy is my most recent album, and it's sort of like a, on one hand, it could be like a party album. It's like got some songs you could really dance to, but I also think it's very sentimental and sincere, and like you know, it's got all that sort of conflict and struggle and love and all that emotional content I was talking about before, but it's a little more funky. <laughs> Hollow body guitars and electric guitars. And, I don't know. I would love to have like a resonator guitar. I would love to have a Gretsch Falcon guitar. But I, I, I seem to keep just getting Martin acoustic guitars. But then I, I only play one of them on the road.
One thing you should probably know about essential living foods is they really do work hard at the source of their products, making sure that they get the best, you know, from wherever. And if they've got one place where they're buying such and such item from and they find something better somewhere else, they're going to go get that because their goal is to bring the freshest, most you know, nutrient-rich product to you. And um, it's, worth ch it's worth checking out. Eat.